Hey everyone, welcome back to Code With Me. We've come a long way in our C programming journey, and now it's time for something really exciting, seeing how C is used in the real world. By the end of this lesson, you'll understand how C powers system pro programming, device drivers, networking, and even APIs. And of course, we'll get hands-on with two real-world examples, a simple command line calculator and a basic client-server program using sockets. Let's dive right in. First up, system programming. You may not realize it, but C is the backbone of operating systems like Linux. It's used for writing system-level programs such as shells, those command line interfaces where you type commands to interact with your system. For example, let's write a simple shell that takes user commands and executes them. Include sdio.h, include stlib.h, include string.h, int main, char command 100, printf my shell, f gets command size of command ested in command crspn command equals zero remove newline character if stereo command, command exit break exit the shell system command execute the command return zero here the program continuously prompts the user for a command if the user enters exit the loop breaks stopping the shell otherwise it executes the command using the system function this is similar to how a linux shell works next let's talk about device drivers a device driver is a program that helps the operating system communicate with hardware like keyboards, printers, and USB devices. These are often written in C because it interacts directly with hardware using low-level instructions. For example, a simple keyboard driver in C might look something like this. This is a basic Linux kernel module that loads a keyboard driver. When executed, it prints a message saying the driver is loaded, and when removed, it prints another message. Now, let's move on to networking with C. This is where C becomes really powerful. It allows us to create client-server applications that communicate over the internet. Let's look at a simple socket programming example, where a client sends a message to a server. This server listens for incoming connections on port 88 h When a client connects and sends a message, the server reads it and prints it on the screen. Task client code. This client program connects to the server and sends, hello server. When the server receives the message, it prints it on the console. This is the basic concept behind client-server communication, which is used in messaging apps, multiplayer games, and web services. Finally, let's explore working with APIs in C. APIs allow programs to communicate with each other. For example, if we want to fetch weather data from an online service, we can use an API request in C. Here, we use curl to make an HTTP request to a weather API and print the response. Many real-world applications rely on APIs like this to fetch data dynamically. Now before we wrap up, let's quickly build a simple command line calculator to perform basic arithmetic operations. This calculator allows the user to enter an operator plus, nice, tash, slash, and two numbers. The program then performs the chosen operation and displays the result. And that's a wrap for C programming in real-world applications, networking, and working with APIs. If you found this lesson helpful, don't forget to like, share, and, and subscribe to Code With Me. In our next video, we'll dive into even more advanced concepts in C.